Hi everyone, let us discuss the concept of magnetic properties of coordination compounds. As we know that the formation of metal complexes is due to a donation of lone pair of electrons by the ligand towards the central metal atom in order to form a coordinate bond, right? If the complex or coordination compound having unpaired electron, then it should be considered as a paramagnetic in nature and possess a stronger magnetic property. Similarly, if the compound doesn't contain any unpaired electron, which means it is diamagnetic in nature and does not possess any magnetic property. Now the question will arise, on what basis we can predict the magnetic properties of coordination compound. Let us think about the electron. Electron is nothing but what? A charged particle, right? As we know that a charged particle can behave like a magnet. But how? That is a question. As we know that electron can able to spin around its own axis, right? Due to its spin, it will generate the charge around it, right? It means electron is nothing but a charged particle. So that every charged particle can behave like a magnet. Then it should be means electron possess some magnetic property. If the metal containing unpaired electron, what happens? Unpaired means simply consider a unpaired electron. One That is one electron, right? One electron with a spin plus half means it has some significant magnetic value, magnetic moment value, right? Sim similarly, if the metal complex does not contain unpaired electron, which means it contain paired electrons. Paired electron means one is upward direction, another one is down downward direction, which means one is having plus half value, another one having minus half value. So that plus half minus cancelled each other, there is no net spin. So that there is no magnetic moment or magnetic property in diamagnetic compounds. So paramagnetic can be defined as tendency of substance to get attracted by magnet or the tendency of magnetic dipoles to align with respect to external magnetic field. Similarly, diamagnetic means tendency to get repelled by the magnet. Repelled in the sense due to what? Because of opposite charges. Right. Okay. Further, the extent of paramagnetic nature of any complexes or any compounds is expressed in terms of magnetic moment. That is mu. Uh, and unit uh, we can represent it in terms of Bohr magnet magneton Bm. Suppose uh, if the complex containing four unpaired electron, then the effective magnetic moment is represented as mu that is equal to square root of n into n plus two, where n n is number of unpaired electron in the compound. Here we have four unpaired electron, so that uh, square root of four into 4 plus 2 which means uh, finally we get the value uh, that is 4.90 bm okay let us uh, discuss about the magnetic properties of the following complexes here a look at the complexes the common thing is in in the both complexes cobalt is the metal and we have two different ligands, right? One is fluorine, another one is amine. And do you know the difference between these two ligands? The fluorine is nothing but it's a weak field ligand, whereas amine is nothing but a strong field ligand, right? As we know that according to VBT theory, a weak field ligand it cannot pair up the electron, right? A weak field ligand it cannot pair up the electron, but Presence of strong field electron, all unpaired electrons become paired, right? And in the first complex, that is cobalt F63 minus, and we have fluorine is the weak field ligand, so that in that complexes, uh, we do not observe any pairing of electron takes place, right? 
So initially, a cobalt having 3D7 and 4S2 electronic configuration in free metal atom, but here cobalt in plus 3 state, so that we have 3D6 4S0 in the outermost electronic configuration, right? So that we have 3D6, which means 6D electrons. So that uh, due to presence of weak field ligand, here we can't absorb any pairing of electrons, right? So that finally, when we fill filling of electrons in d orbitals, we have four unpaired electron, which means this complex is containing four unpaired electron, which means it is paramagnetic in nature. So that we have to find out the effective magnetic moment value. So put this value that is four unpaired electron in the above equation uh, that is mu that is equal to square root of n into n plus 2 which gives the value finally 4.90 bm and due to presence of weak field ligand it is a high spin finally what we are going to conclude is in this case that is in the complex uh, cobalt f63 minus fluorine is the weak field ligand and the crystal field splitting energy is very less compared to pairing energy why because here in the presence of weak field ligand that is fluorine electron pairing does not occur instead of that electrons are entered into higher energy orbitals so that pairing energy is more compared to CFSE that is uh, crystal field stabilization energy as shown in the figure and similarly in the case of second complex cobalt amino complex here amine is the strong field ligand and the crystal field splitting energy is very high that is CFSC is greater than pairing energy here in this case due to presence of uh, strong field ligand electrons are become spared so that uh, we do not find out any unpaired electrons here and we do not 